hearts plus the probability of getting seven hearts would accomplish my game. If I get five hearts, six hearts, or seven hearts, I win. True? If I pull out seven hearts in a row, do I win the game? If I pull out six hearts, do I win the game? Yeah. Pull out five hearts, do I win the game? Yeah. How about four hearts? No, I feel the game. So those right there, this right here, this would be the only ways that we can accomplish winning our game. This is the probability of getting at least five hearts. That's the worst part I've ever drawn. I don't even know what that looks like. Kind of like a fishtail, actually, going in the water. <laughs> Doesn't it? Like a whale tail? Anyway, whatever. Art. And last time I showed you a couple ways to go ahead and find this without doing a whole lot of work because honestly, you're not going to want to do the, the formula three times, are you? The formula is kind of kind of horrible. I mean, it's, it's not bad for finding one, but it's kind of horrible for finding more than, more than one. Even one takes a long time. You have a table that works for you. You also have a calculator that works for you. Before we go ahead and do that, we'll show you how to find all those things. I want to determine a couple other other ideas. We're going to change our game a little bit, okay? Firstly, let's say that this is this is our first game. We're going to figure this out in just a bit. But let's say that in the next game is you win the game if you get exactly four hearts. Exactly four hearts. How many successes are we looking for there? How many successes from getting four hearts? One success. How many hearts am I? A, a success is a, is a heart, right? How many hearts am I looking for? So it would be four successes. Hey, tell me something. Would five hearts work for this? No. You'd lose. Would three hearts work for this? No. You'd lose. Okay, so in this situation, you would have to draw exactly four, no more, no less. Is that hard to do, do you think? It'd have to be like one of these combinations. No heart, no heart, yes heart, yes heart, no heart, yes heart, yes heart, no heart. That'd be one combination. That's hard to do, right? You, every, every, every combination would, would have to have only four hearts in it, and, and everything else would have to be a different scene. So that's one more game. I want to do this. What's the probability? Let's say this is our game now. Our game is you can have at most three hearts. At most three. So let's see how that game would work out. If you drew a card, at most three. Could you draw no hearts? Would you, how would you win that game if you could get at most? Think about this as I'm writing it down. How would you win this game if you only could win if you got at most three hearts? No hearts would work. Sure, what else would work? One heart? Two hearts? Would three hearts work? That's at most three. How about four hearts? Five? Six? Seven? How about eight? Would you even consider eight? No, because it's outside of our, our range. Probability of... More than, how about this, you have to win the game, in order to win the game, you have to have more than five hearts. Oh, I'm already using five. Let's say you have to have more than two hearts. In order to win the game, you have, have to have more than two hearts. Give me the scenarios for winning this game. More than two hearts. Give me the scenarios for winning. Three. Three, okay. How about two? No. Why not two? You need more than two. More than two. So three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, one more. In order to win the game, you need less than... You need less than six hearts. Ooh, that's one of the better ones I've ever drawn. That's pretty good. Five. Less than six hearts. 
or win the game you need less than six hearts. So let's look at that. What wins for less than six hearts? Zero wins. That's less than six. One, two, three, four, five, mm, six. No, that's not less than six. These are most of the scenarios you're going to see. Most things we see are at least, exactly, at most, more than, less than. Those are the scenarios. So now we have one, two, three, four. We have five games we're going to play on this with this one example, okay? So I have your cards. We're drawing one, put it back. Drawing one, put it back. Drawing one, put it back. We're going to do that seven times. What I want to do is find the probability of getting at least five hearts. Then exactly four, at most three, more than two, less than six. Are all the probabilities going to be the same? No. They're way off. They're going to be completely different probabilities. So the chances of winning are going to be different for every single game that we play. <clears throat> I'm going to show this to you on the table. We're also going to do this on the, on the calculator. You see a couple of ways of doing that. Did you guys bring your tables today? Oh, yeah. You should probably bring them, just so you know. We'll, we'll be doing this uh, from time to time on your, on your tables. So for now, we'll look at the table that I have coming up here in just a bit. Uh, also, do you have your calculators? Go ahead and get your graphic calculators out if you have them, okay? Yeah, I'll give, you the, I'll give you this table, the appropriate table for your test when the time comes to it, uh, so that you have at least the information there. So. Uh, I can't say, like, yeah, memorize this whole thing. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, that would take your life. You don't want to do that. So let's look at the probability of finding at least five hearts. You're going to have to memorize those, by the way, or have these written down, because we're going to do this on the board uh, of well, the white screen. Actually, can you see it when it comes up? If I, probably not. how to use this table. What is this column for? N. And so in our case, in our game, what N are we using? Seven. So we're going to be down here. It's, it's below our screen right now, but I'm going to move this up. Uh, what's the X stand for? Number, Number of what now? Successes. Yes, successes. <laughs> this is my successes. What's this stand for? Probability for each success. Notice how that has to be based on success by success trial, or trial by trial basis. So what is our probability here? <coughs> Whoa, five. wait a second. What are we going to do with that? It's right in the middle of that. This table isn't going to work exactly perfect for us in this case. You're going to have to use your calculator, use the formula, or you're going to have to guesstimate there, which is not going to be the best for us. Uh, so just to make this a little bit better, can I, can I fudge that for a second? So you can use that? I'm going to fudge it for a second. So our probability is going to be a little inaccurate. Let's say that we have 0 0.20. So I'm lying here. Yes, I know I'm lying. But I want you to be able to use that table uh, and get some appropriate answers out of that. Your, your calculator, by the way, will use the 0.25 just fine with no problems whatsoever. The table obviously has some drawbacks to it. 
we can do the 1, the 5, the 10 percent, the 20 percent, but then it goes up every 10 percent after that until you get to 95 and 99. So this range, we'd have to go right in between those, just guesstimate between our, our 0.2 and our 0.3 wouldn't be the best case for us. You guys with me on that? So all you can expect on your tests, on your homework, they might give you some of that. On the test, you can expect that one of your probabilities will be in one of these columns. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So we're going to fudge this a little bit. I know this is not accurate, but we're going to say it's 0 0.20. Let's find the probability of at least five hearts. If we do at least five hearts, notice we're going to be in the one, two, three. We're going to be in the fourth column the whole time. Are you with me on this? Fourth column, let's move it on down. Don't you have to change the Q since you changed the probability? Yeah, of course I, I do. Fortunately for us, the Q is really not on this table. So if I did, then yeah, that would be a point eight zero now. Point eight zero. So let's check that out. I've moved it so that this is our fourth column. We know that this is the point two zero. What we're looking for is right here the probability of at least five hearts happening. What accomplished the probability of five hearts? We already went through this. We could get five, six, or seven. True? Five, six, or seven. Those three situations. Let's look at that. Here's five hearts. This is the probability of exactly five hearts coming out of this situation. Here's six hearts, and here's seven hearts. So if we added all that together, remember we treat this as pretty much a zero. This is less than point zero zero one. So this is going to be how much altogether? Which, how you show that? You say point zero zero one plus zero plus plus zero plus. You're going to get point zero zero four. So the probability that you're going to win my game is it good or not no. for this particular one? Getting at least five parts is that good? Why is it unusual? Yeah, it's not above 0 0.05, so it's less than or equal to 0.05, so that would be very unusual to win this game. Why would it be 0 0.001? Yeah. Yeah. What did I say? Oh, I don't know. It's a bad mistake. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen often, does it? But it does happen. <laughs> Just kidding, folks. I made a mistake. I did the 0 0.01. I should have been 0 0.04. Yeah, 0 0.004. <coughs> plus zero plus zero is point zero zero four. So the probability is still not very good. I mean, we needed this to be a five right there. This is way less than that. So this is an unusual, unusual win. If you were to win this, it would not be normal. We should have to feel okay with that so far. Okay, good. Let's find the probability of getting exactly four hearts. Exactly four hearts. So let's look at that. Exactly four. So I see four right here. I know I'm in this column. Do I need to add anything on to this number if I'm looking for exactly four hearts? Mm -hmm. So this is 0 0.029. Which game would you rather play? Getting at, at least five hearts or getting exactly four hearts? So if you get to choose between those games, you'd probably say, I'd rather play the getting exactly four hearts. Even though the probability still sucks of you winning, it's still unusual, isn't it? Less than five percent. Still unusual. It's better than this game. Let's look at at most three hearts. At most three hearts. If you had at most three, we already said that was what? What's at most three again? Zero would work. What else would work? One. Two. Three is included.